Measles. Measles is a childhood infection caused by a virus. Measles is one of the most contagious diseases. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, around 20% of people in the United States who get measles need to spend time in the hospital, and it is fatal in 1 to 3 of every 1,000 cases. Etiology. Measles virus, the cause of measles, is a RNA virus of the genus Morbili virus in the family Paramyxoviridae. How does it spread? So, measles is highly contagious. Approximately 90% of susceptible household contacts acquire the disease. The infection spreads through physical contact with a person who has measles, being near a person with measles when they cough or sneeze, and touching a surface with the virus on, and then putting fingers into the mouth or rubbing the nose or eyes. Pathophysiology. The virus enters the body through the mouth, nose, or eyes. Once there, it most likely enters the lungs where it infects immune cells. These cells move to the lymph nodes where the virus transfers to other cells. Then there will be a formation of self-antibodies due to pathogen molecular mimicry. Although the induction of this autoimmune response is poorly under understood, Molecular mimicry based on structural similarities between MV proteins and myelin has been suggested as a pathogenic mechanism. One of the neurologic complications known as ADEM or acute disseminated encephalomyelitis is immune mediated which can result to mental status changes and motor changes. The virus enters the bloodstream and systemic dissemination via lymphatics to cardiac system where it can affect the myocardium and pericardium, the lower respiratory tract that may cause pneumonia, the, in the GI tract where inf there is an inflammation and decreased nutrient absorption that may cause abdominal pain and diarrhea, in the immune system where the measles virus infection leads to lymphopenia during its acute phase, in which the number of T-cells, both circulating and lymphoid tissue homing, decrease extensively. This results in a transient and profound immune suppression, which leads to increased susceptibility to opportunistic inf infection. Clinical manifestations. So measles has three clinical stages. The incubation stage, the prodromal stage and the final stage. Incubation stage. It typically lasts 8 to 12 days after exposure to the virus and does not have any symptoms. Prodromal stage. It usually begins at the onset of the first symptoms, which begin gradually and include the following. Low-grade to moderate fever, cough, runny nose, and red eyes. These symptoms nearly always precede the appearance of complex spots, the photonomonic sign of measles by two to three days. So complex spots. Complex spots are grayish white dots, usually as small as grains of sun that have slight reddish areolae, and occasionally they are hemorrhagic. They tend to occur opposite the lower molar but may spread irregularly over the rest of buccal mucosa. So here's a picture of a complex spot. There's, there are grayish spots in the buccal mucosa. Other symptoms that are frequently observed during the prodromal phase includes fatigue, irritability, decreased appetite, headache, abdominal pain, dry mouth, and throat. The rash. The symptoms of the prodromal phase worsen with the onset of the rash but then begin to decrease in severity. The measles rash is flat or slightly raised rash and it's not itchy. It first appears as a regular spot of the upper forehead or behind the ears and on the neck. Within 24 hours, it progresses the entire fa face, head and neck. Over the next two to four days, the rash extends to the chest, back and extremities, include the, including the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. It remains most prominent on the face, especially in the cheeks.
Rubella is also called as three-day measles. Three-day measles derive from the typical course of rubella exanthema that starts initially in the face and neck and spreads centrifugally to the trunk and extremities within 24 hours, then begins to fade in the face and on the second day and disappears throughout the body by the end of the third day. It is a mild disease that is caused by rubella virus. Rubella is also known as German measles because the disease was first described by German physicians Frederick Hoffman in the mid-18th century. Etiology. Rubella virus is a member of the Tugavaridae, a family, and the only member of the genus Rubivirus. Mode of transmission. Rubella is spread through person-to-person -person via respiratory route, and it can also be acquired during pregnancy. Phatophysiology. Rubella is spread from person to person via respiratory droplets. Primary implantation and replication in the nasopharynx are followed by spread to the lymph nodes. Infection is established in the skin and other tissues, including the respiratory tract, for chimer spot may develop. When viremia occurs, which in pregnant women often results in infection of the placenta, and placental virus replication may lead to infection of the fatal organs. Epidemiology. It occurs worldwide. It is common in children ages 5 to 10 years old. It occurs around the year, peak in late winter and spring season. It is transmitted through droplet and vertical transmission. Signs and symptoms. Rush. After an incubation period of 14 to 21 days, the primary symptom of rubella virus infection is the appearance of a rash on the face, which spreads to the trunk and limbs and usually fades after two days with no staining or peeling of the skin. Tender lymph nodes. Tender lymphadenopathy persists up to one week. Fever and for chimer spot. So this is a picture of a rubella rash. For chimer spot. It is a photonomonic sign of the rubella, a fleeting inantim seen as small red spots on the soft palate in 20% of patients with rubella. It is similar spots that can be seen in measles and scarlet fever. So this is a picture of a four-chimer spot where na ay red spot nga makita sa soft palate nga area. The clinical events occurring in the neonatal age is more important and divided into two major groups, the congenital rubella and the postnatal rubella. Congenital rubella syndrome. It occurs during the first trimester of pregnancy. It can affect the development of the fetus and it may lead to fetal death or premature delivery. Classical triad of the congenital rubella syndrome, cataracts, cardiac abnormalities, and deafness. Postnatal rubella. It occurs in neonates and childhood. Postnatal rubella is usually a mild disease with diffuse erythematous maculopapular rash, lymphadenopathy, and fever. Diagnosis. The diagnosis is usually apparent from the characteristics clinical picture. Laboratory confirmation is rarely needed. Testing for measles immunoglobulin M antibodies is recommended in some situations. Isolation of measles virus from clinical samples is also useful in identifying genotype of the strain to trap transmission pattern. All suspected measles cases should be reported immediately to local or health departments. During the prodromal stage, multinucleated giant cells can be demonstrated in smears of the nasal mucosa. Medical management. Treatment of measles is essentially supportive care. Hydration. Maintenance of good hydration and replacement of fluid loss through diarrhea or emesis is a primary concern. Vitamin A supplementation. Vitamin A supplementation, especially in children and patients with clinical signs of Vitamin A deficiency should be considered. Antibiotic therapy. Secondary infection, like for example, otitis media or bacterial pneumonia, should be treated with antibiotics. 
and patient with severe complicating infection like encephalomyelitis should be ad admitted for observation and antibiotics as appropriate to their clinical condition. Post-exposure prophylaxis. Prevention or modification of measles in exposed susceptible individuals involves the administration of measles virus vaccine or human immunoglobulin. Pharmacologic therapy. Vitamin A. Vitamin A treatment for children with measles in developing countries has been associated with a marked reduction in morbidity and mortality. Thus, two doses of vitamin A given 24 hours apart are recommended. A third age specific dose should be given two to four weeks later to children with clinical signs and symptoms of vitamin A deficiency. Vaccines. The live MMR vaccine is used to induce active immunity against viruses that cause measles, mumps, and rubella. Immunoglobulins. Human immunoglobulins prevents or modifies measles in susceptible individuals if administered within six days of exposure. Vaccination not only protects you and your family, but also prevents the measles virus from circulating in your community and affecting those who can't be vaccinated. Nursing diagnosis. Impaired social interaction related to isolation from friends. Risk for impaired skin integrity related to raking paritis. Higher risk of infection related to the host and infectious agents. Acute pain related to skin lesions and irritated mucous membranes. Nursing intervention. Isolation. Patients will need to be in isolation precautions to decrease transmission within the community. Emphasize the need of immediate isolation when early catheteral symptoms appear. Skin care. Measles causes extreme pruritus. Nursing interventions include keeping the patient's nails short, encourage long pants and sleeves to prevent scratching, and keeping skin moist with healthcare provider recommended lotions and avoiding sunlight and heat. Eye care. Treat conjunctivitis with warm saline when removing eye secretions and encourage patients not to rub eyes. Protect the eyes from the glare of the strong light. Hydration. Encourage oral hydration. Medical literature encourages the use of oral rehydration solution. Temperature con control. Antipyretics should be administered to the patient as ordered for a temperature greater than 100.4 Fahrenheit unless directed elsewise by a healthcare provider. Be sure to remind parents not to administer the aspirin due to the risk of Fares syndrome. Prognosis. Measles has a low death rate in healthy children and adults, and most people who contract the measles virus recover fully. Approximately 30% of people with measles experience one or more complications. Measles can lead to life-threatening complications such as pneumonia and inflammation of the brain, encephalitis. However, measles and its potential complications are preventable through vaccination. Thank you for watching.